Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Nature on the Water Part 2. Hopefully you saw Part 1. This way, uh, this this one, uh, we sail up through Hoskin Passage and uh, back into Discovery Channel. Uh, we stayed the night uh, down in Harriet Bay and then uh, headed up uh, uh, the east side of uh, Quadro Island. Once we get up there, we get into the main channel and we continue to sail up uh, the channel until we get to until we get to Port McNeil. And it goes up to Surge Narrows. Surge is where that is like that. It's up in those narrows up ahead of us. It's uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I'm thinking about picking a, a 10 30 tomorrow morning to go through. If we do that, we'll have to find an anchorage in the channel. There's a couple of them on the right, so it's a beautiful country, eh? There's a couple bird rocks. You can tell how white they are on the top of them. This is that narrow. That's Quadro Island on that side. Area Bay back there. But well, we're headed north. To Port McNeil, Port Hardy. And the adventure continues. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, we need all your support. We're doing about four and a half knots, one motor, the high thrust, eight horses. We have uh, probably one knot helping us, maybe half a knot helping us. Sorry I didn't have the camera, was busy navigating the boat. So, but we come through safe. That's quite a narrow. I think uh, when the flow, when you're not in slack, there's whirlpools. Or, yeah. like a river, huh? That's Surge. Yeah, it's an amazing place we live. We live in a beautiful place. Good morning, YouTube. John here. Uh, we spend the night in this little bay uh, just off Surge Narrows and uh, out there is uh, Discovery Passage. Uh, I see some clear cut up in the bush there. I'm not sure. We'll get closer and uh, take a look. There's a fish farm over here. They have salmon fish farms on the island and that's a commercial operation. Uh, that's where we stayed. What a beautiful, quiet day. We had it all to ourselves. I had a bath in the cockpit, so did beat. We had privacy. It was kind of nice. We didn't get the shower out. I have a little shower set up, but yeah, we were able to. I washed my hair and everything. It was good. Oh, and I washed everything too. Yeah. Anyway, we're supposed to get uh, some sun, few clouds, 22 degrees for high. Uh, I think it went down to about 10 Celsius. That's 50 degrees. Fair 
Fahrenheit and a high of uh, 77, 78 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, they're supposed to be uh, four to five knots in the morning and then calming off. And uh, I'm hoping uh, Discovery Passage is quite wide. Uh, I said to be two cruise ships can pass. So, uh, and there's more room than that. So uh, I'm hoping even if the wind is against us, we can get some tacks back and forth across the channel. So, uh, wow, what an opportunity to do this. It's just wonderful. Uh, head up to the channel and uh, all, all likelihood get as far north as probably Port McNeil. Maybe even Port Hardy. And uh, then it's decision time wh whether we're going to full, full blast around the island or... Uh, and I want to do things like look at weather windows and all that. So, yeah. The rugged... Rugged country. Tell you what kind of bird. They're not seagulls. They're some kind of a white bird. Show you this panorama, you guys. It's below uh, Port McNeil on the street. Discovery Passage. Big mountains up ahead. Discovery Passage is wide, probably. Uh, five eighths of a mile, maybe half a mile. Runs up on the mountains there. You can see where the pass cuts through the mountains. Oh, we live in a beautiful place. Thank you, thank you. That's behind us. I think it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. We've made maybe 14, 15 miles. We had a little trouble with the motors, but uh, Pete uh, got his mechanical mind out and uh, John got some loose parts uh, off here and there in the boat. And, now it's fixed. So. And we didn't even have to stop. We could fix it on the move. We shut one motor down, worked on it, and turned that one on once it was fixed. It worked on the other one. That's amazing. We didn't lose any miles because of the breakdown. So thanks to me. So parts that you say, well, I should throw that away and just put it in the bottom of the toolbox and someday you're going to need that, so yeah, good to have spares on the boat. One is good, two is better. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching us.
uh, Vancouver Island on that side. That's the pass we just came through. Rugged country. And uh, I can look it up for you, this island here. Uh, it's probably still Quadro. Uh, Quadra Island. I'm pretty sure it's still, it's pretty long, so I think we haven't got to the top yet. This is the top coming up. So we're at the top of Quadro Island at least, and maybe further. I didn't look at the map, so. A little red, going good. Yeah, we went through a tank of gas. We're uh, probably uh, 50 miles north of Campbell River in the Discovery Passage. Temperature came up to uh, 16, 17. Supposed to hit 22 today. I don't think it's there yet. We have a wind in our nose, so we can't sail, so we're motoring. Uh, yeah, the wind is probably only two, two three knots. We're going against uh, a 0.25 tide or something, maybe 0.3. Not too bad. I wish it was behind us, but for now it's not. It's in our nose. Well, we just went past slack tide, so some of our motoring was against slack tide. There's a boat coming down the channel. There's a little narrows over there. I was concerned that the tide would get higher there, but we'll see when we get there. Anyway, talk to you soon. So we made it into Port McNeil. Uh, just a couple of shots uh, that Beat took of two eagles flying. Uh, yeah, we, we get a lot of chances up here in Vancouver Island to watch the eagles. Uh, these two, uh, yeah, they were kind of chasing each other. It was kind of interesting watching them. Uh, well, we got into Port McNeil. Uh, we anchored, uh, you know, right out in the harbor. Uh, got some fuel. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, I want to thank Pete again, uh, that part of the trip for fixing the motors. Uh, he was pretty proud about that. We saw a concert when we were there. It didn't take a lot of film because the music's all copyrighted, of course. But, yeah, just some shots of the harbor. Uh, a shot of myself there. Uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series. I think we'll cut it off here. Uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. And like I say, see you on the next one.